Hey y'all, welcome back to My Real California Life. It is Sunday, and since obviously there's no deliveries on Sunday, I'm still waiting for my boxy charm, which I don't know if I said to you guys, but um, I know I said I was going to be here yesterday. I When I checked the tracking yesterday, um, it actually said that even though on Friday night it was in my city at the post office, it said... It has now been rerouted because it said there was an address mistake and it has to be rerouted to the proper city. So it's now been taken to another city. Okay. And then if there's an address mistake, it makes me really wonder if that's going to happen with the second box that has also been sent out. They're just a couple days apart. So the funniest part though, y'all, I have to show you this real quick. Okay. FedEx can't even, you know, get my stuff here on a weekday or whenever they're supposed to on their delivery days, yet Amazon just came and delivered my stuff on a Sunday. I can't believe that. Actually, um, some like young guy in a car pulled up and dropped it, rang the doorbell and then dropped it on the porch. Yep, and it is all my organic energy drinks. Super awesome, so it's just crazy, you know, it's like, Amazon's awesome, but, okay, so, sorry guys, we're gonna make zucchini cheesy bread, oh, hold on one second, okay, y'all, sorry about that, so I thought, I've been seeing everybody do all the zucchini stuff lately, and it looks amazing, I love zucchini, most, you know, everybody in my house loves zucchini, so I saw them make um, zucchini cheesy bread, now I've seen a whole bunch of different ways to make it, so I'm gonna kind of just make it how I want to, so obviously, you know, most of them said start with four zucchinis. So, and that's exactly what I had in one of my packages was, you know, four organic zucchini. So obviously if you want to make it more, you know, you can double it up. But it, hers did look, the video I did see, uh, well, the couple I watched, they both looked about, you know, this side zucchini. So I'm going to take them, I'm going to cut the ends off, and I'm going to grate them. So I'll be right back because I know you don't want to just wait for that. <laughs> okay, y'all, I got the zucchinis all grated now it's kind of weird I saw like I said I watched a couple different now one of them I don't know what on earth was going on but she dumped all of the ingredients together and then stuck it in towel and strained it which and then another one I saw she didn't strain at all and then another one just strained the zucchini now I would think you would strain just the zucchini when I, I mean like put it in a towel and squeeze all the extra moisture out, you know, I would think you would do that with just the zucchini, not once you put all the ingredients in it. So I, I thought that was kind of weird, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drain just the zucchini and get some of the water out. So hold on one second. Sorry y'all, so I just got a clean dish towel and then I'm going to put just the grated zucchini right onto the towel also. Man, grading that zucchini was such like an arm workout. Like the wings that I have, this nice little extra bat flab. Man, if I did this every day, those wings would be gone super quick. So maybe I need to start like some kind of like exercise regime where we basically like grate and chop. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, have it all in the towel and I'm going to take it and see how much zucchini juice we get out of our oh wow there's a lot hold on I'll bring it over here closer we gotta put our I wasn't gonna do it I was like oh that other person didn't do it but then when I grated it it felt really wet so I was like you know what the bread will probably turn out better that's some good juice, though. That's like pure organic zucchini juice. So that's what I'm saying. It's like the one person I watched, she put all the ingredients, the eggs, the cheese, the spices, and then she strained it. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, super weird. You just strained all that flavor you just put in, kind of. But, okay. So I think that's probably good. Okay. Okay. One second. I will be right back. 
Okay, so we got our drained zucchini, and yes, you know, obviously, this is a clean dish towel. You want to use, you know, a nice clean dish towel. So, ooh, I'm throwing zucchini. That's so crazy. It's like totally staying the towel. Okay, so, oh, much better though. We have, so we have our nice zucchini. Okay, again, I've seen a couple. One girl did one egg, one girl did two. I'm doing two because I kind of feel like since we're not doing breadcrumbs either to hold it together that I kind of want more. So I'm going to go ahead and do two eggs. And then one person did just spices, but I've seen most people do cheese. I'm going to, I like cheese, so I'm going to do cheese. Now what I did to make it a little bit easier too is I added everything together rather than dumping everything individually. So as you can see, I have, well at the top is garlic powder, onion powder, I did lemon um, pepper, and then my mixed seasoned pepper and smoked paprika. I did a tablespoon of each, and then I did um, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of mozzarella. Now, obviously you can add whatever spices you want. I saw a bunch of people that did. I didn't do any salt and pepper because there is a little bit of salt in my garlic pepper, or in my um, lemon pepper, and then obviously pepper, and then I had the seasoned pepper mix also. And as I've said, I don't like a lot of salt. So I did the paprika, which it didn't call for, but I love paprika, and that's my new smoked, so I'm gonna add it. Um, now, also I did a little bit more cheese than what it does, but I like cheese, so, and then we're gonna put cheese on top. I'm also gonna use on top uh, it says a blend of shredded Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and provolone. That's going to be super good. So let me mix this real quick. I'm sorry, I didn't even grab a spoon. Goodness gracious. Sorry, y'all. So, yeah, so I also, I'll tell you, I uh, messaged Boxy Charm to tell him, you know, what was going on. Just kind of like, I'm sorry, you know, I don't mean to be complain, but it's been like one problem after the next. And I haven't even gotten a box yet so it's just outrageous at this point I paid for two boxes and I have absolutely nothing so I'm just getting frustrated and then the fact that like now the address thing you know and I when I called it was super weird because it's like the tracking information that gets sent to you it says it's FedEx so I call because it says you know it's been rerouted to a new city now and blah 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 and um, so FedEx is like, oh, it's actually not even us, it's USPS now, you know, the United States Postal Service. So I'm like, okay, well, that's really weird to begin with. So now this address thing, so if it's, they won't say whether it's like something that BoxyCharm messed up or they messed up. So all they say is, you know, well, if you're upset, sorry, you need to call the retailer. And if it's something on our end, they'll deal with us regarding it. But it's like, okay, so... If it's an address mistake and say BoxyCharm misprinted or put it wrong, and that's happening, so then what about that second shipment that's already gone out? Does that mean that the same thing is going to happen? Or was it maybe just like a shipping mistake and FedEx dropped it off at the wrong place or took it to a, back to a different place that they weren't supposed to? See, so because they won't tell me, I don't know. So now I'm stressed and I'm like, okay, well, now I'm not going to get it till late. And then now that second one that's gone out. So if it is a problem, it's going to be that. But I'm sorry, y'all. I know. It's just driving me crazy. Because it's like BoxyCharm is the only one I went with that was full size. The other one's like Ipsy and Birchbox and like the Target and Walmart. Well, Target's not all the time. The Walmart was five. It's seasonal. But Ipsy and Birchbox, they're only $10 and you get samples. Um... I actually signed up for Allure also, and then today I saw Allure posted something on Facebook, and then all these people are saying problems, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I had saw one girl said that like, she got charged for six months and never once got a package, and oh, so I was like, geez Louise. So, we'll see. Oh, Sephora also I signed up for, so we'll see. So watch, I'm going to end up getting like two boxy charms next week, like back to back. Or, you know, on the same day. And then I'm going to have to wait a month for another one. And I'm going to be bummed. But, okay. 
It's all mixed up, y'all. So what we're going to do, what I saw people did was put it on a baking dish with parchment paper. I don't have parchment paper. So I'm actually going to put them. I have my Pyrex pans. Sorry, y'all. I have my Pyrex pans because I figure that's the next bet. And I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom to help it not stick. So I'm going to lay it out and then I'm going to cook it at 425 for 25 minutes. And then we'll be back to add the cheese and show you what it looks like. We'll see you in a little bit. I just thought I'd show y'all real quick before I throw it in. Looks amazing. Okay, so again, 425 oven for 25 minutes. Okay, y'all, the zucchini bread's ready to come out. So I'm going to take it out, actually, take it out, add some more cheese, put it back in for a couple minutes. So I'm going to grab it real quick. I also went ahead and I put on some vegetable pasta while the bread was cooking so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make just cheesy pasta also um, I don't like tomatoes so I don't like spaghetti sauce so this is how I make it so let me grab the bread real quick and I'll show you oh my goodness y'all it looks amazing okay so I guess I could move this stuff out of the way real quick, huh? Sorry, y'all. Okay. Because all I need to do is just add some extra cheese. Now it says just add, you know, a little bit of um, extra mozzarella. And then um, some people, I said, saw they did a couple extra, like the red pepper flakes, if you like it spicy, you know. And then... Um, some parsley or whatever you want. I thought about maybe putting some basil, but then I thought, you know, you know what? It's It's got a lot of seasoning already. So I'm going to put just the cheese, which is, like I said, I have shredded um, a blend of Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and Provolone because I already put a lot of mozzarella in it. So, again, you know, probably just how much ever cheese you prefer. I want it enough to so that there's just, you know, a layer of cheese over the top. And then we're going to put it back in for five minutes at the same, the 425, and just let that cheese melt real quick. So we're going to stick that in. I'm going to grab the pasta one. Okay. I have to set my timer or I will burn it. Sorry, y'all. I have to grab my strainer. Obviously, I forgot. Okay. Sorry, y'all. That was a super bad host move, huh? Just pull it over here. There's my radiator pasta. That's just the shape, but it's um, actually vegetable pasta. You can see the different colors. So it's organic vegetable pasta I get from Trader Joe's. Now, like I said, I do not like tomatoes. And I really, I really, really, really don't like tomatoes. But I love ketchup. So I just don't like spaghetti sauce, though, either. So when I make my pasta, I do just the noodles, olive oil, I mean, you gotta have something, you know, to make, have a liquid. So you can also use butter if you wanna use milk, whatever, I use olive oil. And then just, this is just, you know, obviously sprinkled cheese. I love sprinkled cheese. This is not sponsored by sprinkled cheese. <laughs> so I probably do like, I mean, honestly, that's probably like a half a cup of cheese. And then I also do lemon juice, and I'm just making sure that I don't get all the seeds. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to stir it up and just see if we need to add any more liquid. And obviously, you know, you can add anything that you like, but 
it's such an easy, simple pasta to make, and most of the time, everybody loves it, because most people, you know, love, like, a mac and cheese, and I wouldn't say it's, like, a mac and cheese, you know, because, like I said, I don't use any, like, milk or butter, but you can, um, but I just noticed, you know, most people tend to like this. I actually have a lot of people who will be like, oh, can you make me your cheesy pasta, you know, so, and you can add whatever. A lot of the times I add um, a little bit of paprika and chili powder. Just give it a nice little red tint. And you can always add, oh, I can smell the lemon. It smells so good. So you can always add whatever cheese you want. You see, can you really tell? It just looks like it adds a nice little glisten. I have to taste it. So good. Sorry, y'all. So again, easy pasta. And yeah, it's pasta, so it's not the best, but it's vegetable pasta. And you can do whole wheat pasta. And like I said before, you don't have to make yourself miserable to be healthy. As long as you eat healthy, it's okay. You know, it's okay to have pasta. Don't eat a bowl of pasta, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously. But you can have pasta. You know, I didn't cut any of that stuff out. And actually, I think now I'm down about 75 pounds total. So, you know, it can be done. So I'm going to put you... Sorry, I just spit all over the place. I'm going to pause you one more time. I'm going to grab that bread out, and we're going to see what it looks like. Hey, y'all, I am back, and the food is all finished. Now... I figured you guys didn't want to see me, you know, take it out of the oven and slice it up and take it out of the pan. So, I'm going to show you now. Now, I know I'm doing this a little bit different than I normally do when I show you guys my recipe videos. And that's because I've never made this before. So, I mean, the pasta, yes, I make it all the time. But the zucchini bread, I hadn't. So, I didn't want to be like, oh, go make this. It's really good. Try it out. I wanted to make it and actually show you guys, like, to see how it was and it actually it was pretty easy to make and it you know it looks actually really good it's actually you know like bread you know you can actually pick it up and it's like bread now the only thing I don't have is marinara sauce to dip it in so I am going to taste it y'all I'm sorry I'm gonna set you down now I know sometimes people are like I can't stand when people eat on YouTube but I do want to see if it's actually really good say hi. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. That is amazing. What? The zoo. You want to taste mommy's cheesy bread she made? No. Okay. <laughs> no, but it is really good, y'all. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm going to show them real quick. So, we got our awesome um, veggie pasta with olive oil, lemon, and Parmesan cheese. And no, then we got no. our bread. That is just zucchini bread. There is no actual bread. It's just zucchini and eggs and lemon. spices let's and show cheese. Let's show it's lemon. amazing. Hold let's on. Show it I did. Lemon. Nice healthy meal. Go try it out. We'll see you guys tomorrow.